Good morning, good morning. I have one more approval to make, I'm fairly certain, before we actually begin. But if you're here already and you can hear me, welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. That's what I want to see. Good morning. Welcome to Spring Force Qigong every day. Oh, it's amazing how emotional I get. <laughs> Just knowing that everybody is coming on from all over the world. And isn't it wonderful? This is the chi field of the world. This is our chi fields connecting together and the, the chi field of the universe. Oh, I, I have goosebumps right now because <laughs> it just excites me. Even though I can't see you, I can see you. I see you in my visualization. I see you in my heart and I feel connected to you by connecting here on this platform that is part of the world's chi field, part of the universal, universal chi field. It's given us these platforms, this technology, which keeps evolving and evolving and evolving so that we can be together in real time all over the world. My name is Roxy Wright. I am a certified Spring Forest Qigong instructor, trainer, healer, practice group leader, and simple human being. Our leader next week is going to be certified trainer, uh, Terry Lears, and he teaches from all over the world. <laughs> it's so much fun to follow Terry if you get the chance to, because he's got to practice literally all over the world. It's very cool. So enjoy Terry next week. Today, I'd like to talk about the basics. We're always coming back to the basics. And as I follow Master Lin and as I work with, with him and, and retake all of the classes that he gives, um, he's always coming back to level one, chi activation. And why is that? Because when we activate our chi, we're gonna review for just a second and we will practice really shortly, I promise. Um, when we activate our chi, what is the chi? Yes, this is energy work. Yes, we're working with energy, but there's all different types of energy, water energy, heat energy, light energy. The chi is a very specific definition of energy that says it is energy with a life force to it. It creates life. It sustains life. It can recreate life. Chi is also our life blueprint. So the chi knows and understands how our body, mind, spirit, and soul can all be in complete harmony and balance with the universe. And it has the perfect intelligence with which to enact that perfect balance. And so you might say, well, why, if it's got all that perfect intelligence, why is everything not in perfect balance and we're not all walking around singing kumbaya and being wonderful together? because it's all directed by our yi, our intention, which is not what I'm gonna to discuss today, but it is really important. When we come to Spring Forest Qigong, most of us have come, including myself, with a, with a physical ailment or an emotional ailment of some sort. And we come to get fixed. Master Lin says, I bring my money, I bring my body to my doctor, and I say, here, fix me. Spring Forest Qigong practice will teach you to be your own guru will teach you to connect with the universe so that you get information for you in that moment from the universe. And how do we get that information? And how do we get the healing that we're seeking? We activate our chi because our chi will go through our body with that perfect intelligence and it will pick up information when we have asked it to do so. If we don't ask it to do so, it's not going to do it because we are always sovereign and our intention, our yi is always in charge. And so our chi just waits for our yi, and when our yi sets an intention, our chi says, got it, let's go, and picks up the information as we're going through our body, which we're going to do in the five healing elements this morning, as it picks up all that information in our body, and then at the end of the practice, we spin it down into yon, John, Don, we spin it down into Don, that Don is our specific medicine for our body. And that's why going back to five healing elements and our small universe meditation every day, if possible, every day, carve out the time. It is critical for our health. It is critical for our well-being. It is critical for everything that we're doing. So with that little preamble, let us practice together. I'm just going to get my music set up. And I don't know, Zoom has, Zoom's wonderful, but it has its limitations. One of them is not necessarily being able to transmit music very well through it. But <clears throat> let us begin to practice to activate our chi, which is the whole point, right? And once we set our intention, 
We're going to let go of the intention and go deep into the emptiness to practice and to activate our chi. So take three or four just nice to big deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Allow your knees to bend and your hips to be a little flexible. Nothing is rigid in Qigong. Everything is moving. That yin and that yang, everything is moving back and forth and coming into balance and out of balance. You might find yourself yawning a little bit. We're going to begin to tap. Tap between the eyebrows. This is our bladder meridian, which is connected to our kidney system. It's connected to gratitude and releasing fear. Tapping underneath our eyes. Tapping down our torso, down our whole body. Bring that smile to your face. Whether or not you feel like smiling, as soon as you smile, your body changes. Tip up your left hand, left hand and tap under the left elbow. The amygdala releases endorphins as soon as you smile. It tells your body and your mind and your spirit and your soul that you're safe. Smile means start my internal love engine and down the left side and love is always a place of safety. And down the right side. Now we're gonna to begin to bounce. We're breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. In this bouncing state, we're letting go of any extra energy that is now ready to return back to the universe. All energy, all emotions, all things come to us with a purpose. They come and they serve their purpose and sometimes they get stuck and those are chi blockages because we haven't understood yet how to move them and how to release them back out into the universe. As we bounce, we're releasing and we don't have to understand at any level all of the information. Just like when we're driving a car, we don't understand every system of the car. We're not a pure mechanic that could fix everything and understand everything. We start the engine, we put it in gear, and off we go. So let's start our engine, put it in gear, and off we go into chi activation. Lots of bouncing. Getting into the nose and out through the mouth. And swinging back and forth. Allow your hands to move and just tap on your body as they swing back and forth. And here in this state of swinging back and forth, bring yourself into the state of being a little child. Feel into the joy you felt as a child. Just pure wonder at the world. And if you don't have a memory of that, create one. What would it feel like to be completely joyful? And as you feel into that joy, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth, that again becomes your healing blueprint. Because every time we think about those things, about joyful things and happy things, it brings our body back into balance. To allow our hands to float above our heads. Let your wrists and your elbows be soft and floppy. We're releasing all rigidity here. We're connecting with the chi field of the universe. In all its flow, in all its ebb and flow and up and down and sideways and backwards. All that yin and that yang and so many levels. Coming into balance. Moving out of balance, coming back into balance. Let your hands float back down again. As they float back down, float down slowly. And feel if there's a little bit of a sticky spot. Here's my sticky spot right here. So I'm going to bounce a little deeper and breathe a little bit deeper and allow that sticky spot to soften. Where things don't necessarily bounce as easily, allow that to soften. And think about in your life when you get stuck in rigidities, when you get stuck in firm thinking one way or another. Allow those things to soften off of your breath. And as we come back down with our hands, we're going to breathe out. And on our long, next long exhale, 
We're going to bring our bodies into a quiet stillness. Feel your fingertips and your palms. Fingertips are tingling and the palms feel full. Your elbows have floated away from your body. This is your chi. This is your activated chi. The chi is now alert and waiting for information and direction. And here we give the password, I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together as one. And now we're connecting with all of the information and all of the power of the universe. And now we set the intention and we call upon our master's energy. You choose who your master, your divine, your source, your inspiration, your own inner light, your own inner moon. Dearest guide, dearest master, with deepest gratitude for the things that I'm learning about my existence and myself and how it all connects together with the universe. I set the intention for this practice right now to be, and you set your private intention. Now we bring our hands to the position of forming yin and yang. Our right hand is at our throat. Our left hand is at our navel area. The hands do not touch the body. We bring our right hand up and out and down, and our left hand comes in and up. We are now moving yin and yang. Our elbows stay open. Our knees are flexed. Our breathing is now in through the nose and out through the nose. And our gentle smile is still with us, still inviting us into softness and safety, settling into the beautiful cushion of eternal love. Coming into that beautiful space of love, start my internal love engine. As we move yin and yang with our chin drop down, we breathe in happiness. Connecting with the wood energy of the earth, we're breathing in happiness into our liver, into our gallbladder, into our eyes. Breathing happiness into our ligaments and our tendons, the structural elements of our bodies. Take your visualization and see inside your body. See that beautiful liver in green. See that wonderful gallbladder in green. See the magnificence of your own body. As we breathe in happiness in green, we release any anger that we might be feeling or might be stored in our body in places that we don't even understand. But the chi knows. Because our intention is to release it, the chi knows where to go and how to tease out little bits of things that we've got blocked in there. We don't necessarily even understand why they're blocked but the chi will release them. Breathing in happiness. Bringing our hands back to the lower dantian and our happiness expands into joy. We feel this beautiful yin yang ball right here at our navel. Feel it. Feel it pulsing in your palms. Feel this balance. Now we begin to breathe with the universe. Our elbows open. We breathe in, we bend our knees. And as we breathe out, we release any hatred. We breathe in joy. 
You're connecting with the fire of the earth, the red hot fire that both warms us and burns off any hatred that we might have held in our bodies. As we breathe in joy and we bend our knees, we feel ourselves connected with all of the universe. And our body is our own small universe. And we see inside our body this beautiful red light of joy warming our hearts, warming our small intestines, breathing in red joy. We feel it warming and clearing and cleansing through our triple heaters, which are our lymph system and our endocrine system. We breathe this beautiful red light of joy into our tongue and into our blood. We breathe out any hatred that we might be feeling, it might be caught. Hatred is a very strong word. So we might want to not feel it and see it. And our chi knows. And our chi will gently tease away anything that is ready to be returned back to the universe. We come back to the center of this movement. Feel this yin-yang ball again in your hands. Feel the beautiful balance in it. It's now floating up into the heavens. As we reach up into the heavens with this beautiful yin-yang ball, we're connecting heaven and earth. And as we bend our knees and breathe in, we breathe in peace when we feel connected to heaven and earth. In our body, we know that we can be peaceful. We breathe that peace, that yellow light of peace, into our stomach system. And as we bend down, breathe in our feet. Reach down into the earth, connecting with the earth and the soil and all those organisms in the soil. We connect with our, our um, bubbling spring from the bottom of our foot. As we bend our knees and reach down into the earth, we connect heaven and earth, and our body is the conduit. The chi cleans and polishes and releases. We breathe in. Beautiful yellow light of peace. We breathe it into our stomach system. We breathe it through our pancreas, through our spleen. We breathe it into all of our muscles. We breathe it into our magnificent lips, which have so many meridian points around them. Such a tender sensing area. So we breathe in deeply, we breathe in peace. In this moment, on this breath, I experience complete peace. Use your visualization to be inside your body with all those organs we talked about. If your hands are tired, feel free to let them slowly float down. Continue the movement. Visualizing your hands up, connecting into the heavens.
Bringing your hands together slowly at the top of your head. Bring them into a prayer position and allow them to gently float. Cast your bi wee points. Cast your third eye. Cast your outer eyes and your nose and your sinuses and your mouth and your teeth. As you pass all of these magnificent parts of your body, feel into their magnificence. Ask the heart. Feel into your own unique precision. Bringing our hands to the lower dantian, walking our right foot out about another half step. We shift our body weight to the left as we breathe in. We shift our body weight to the right as we breathe out. We're connecting here with our body's energy. This magnificent, beautiful, small universe in our body. As we breathe to the right and breathe in, breathe in to the left, breathing in contentment. As we breathe out, we're releasing any sadness and depression and grief. Connecting with our body's energy and the metal of the earth. Electromagnetic energy that moves through the metals. Tiny bits of metals that create their catalysts for chemical changes. Releasing. And breathing in. On this breath, I am content, and I feel that contentment in my lung system. I breathe in the white light of contentment into my large intestines. I feel it cleansing and moving and changing things. I breathe the white light of contentment through my nose and my sinuses. And I feel everything releasing sadness and depression and grief, and it comes out of my skin as smoke. And it goes back to the universe to be recycled back into unconditional love. In this breath, on this moment, I am content. The chi knows the chi holds me. The universe holds me. The universe allows me my pure choice. The universe also comes in at my full request and combines together with me to create what I want. And in this space, I create contentment. Walk your right foot back underneath your shoulders. Gently close your hands here at the lower dentian. With just enough pressure to hold a piece of paper and bring your hands up to your heart, allowing your knees to bend and your elbows to bend. And here we're connecting with our heart's energy. So we bow forward, we breathe in. And we breathe in the beautiful light of gratitude. And as we stretch up, we release all fear. We bend forward and breathe into gratitude. We feel into our kidney system and the water of our bodies and the water of the earth and the water of the atmosphere. And we breathe in beautiful gratitude. We breathe it through our kidneys through our bladder, 
We breathe it into our bones, especially into the bone marrow. The bone marrow is sacred substance. It creates life in the stem cells, in the blood cells. We breathe into our reproductive system. In this space of gratitude, we are in this space of creation. As you bow forward, as you breathe in, feel into anything that you're grateful for, tiny little things, my hair, my breath, my skin, my thoughts. Breathing into this space of creation with deep, deep gratitude to our master, to the universe. In this space now, we will begin to harvest our chi. Our chi has been expanded out into the universe and now we're bringing it back to our hearts and to our bodies. See a light in your lower dantian, in your navel, behind the navel. See this light ball, it's soft and it's misty. And spin it now, faster and faster to the right. We're condensing it into dawn. See it inside your body, behind your navel, and see it spinning faster and faster. Our chi, by our request, has been throughout our whole body and all the systems in our body. It has been collecting information. Now we're spinning it down into Don. Don is our own prescription, our own medicine for our body, mind, and spirit. How they can come into perfect balance with our pure soul. And as we spin this down in our lower Dan Tien, Tien is a farm and a place where things grow. Now our chi has been activated. And all of those things that we would like to have balanced, our chi is now working on them at our request. Rubbing our hands together. <clears throat> bringing your hands to your face. Fingers on either side of your nose and up into the hairline. Massage your face. And as you massage your face, I invite you to say to yourself out loud, I love you and use your own name. When you say it out loud, you're setting up a vibration of sound. It goes out into the universe and comes back into your ears. And this love for ourselves is the foundational love that will begin the healing process. We're going to massage our ears. Just take your ear, unfold it, give it a little tug. Do that nine times. Harvesting our chi and bringing it back down. Again, now we're releasing, tapping down the body, any extra energy that we've loosened through our practice. And now we're returning it back to the universe as well. Tapping our hands together nine times. Six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to interlock our fingers, put them on our belly. Go left, down the left side, up the right side. Do this nine times as well. <clears throat> We're going to come down and tap our, our kidney area a little bit high. Hands are open. We'll move around. This, this is a gentle tapping. This is not a pounding. Gentle tapping and moving our hands down into the sacrum. And out into the hips. A little bit of an advertisement here. I'm teaching level two today. If you'd like to have level two and you have... Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday mornings open available to you or whatever time zone you're in. Starts in an hour. Come with me. We've also got some level ones happening later in the month. Tapping in our groin area. Reaching our hands down, tapping on top of our knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And behind our knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On either side of the left knee. And the right knee. Thank you for practicing with me today, my friends, all over the world. I love you. I really do. Namaste and enjoy your day. Come and practice with us again. You can find us on YouTube. You can 
find us in all kinds of places. Facebook, YouTube, there's always a practice to join you. Namaste.